Good morning, students. Welcome to Physics One. Today, we are going to be discussing a subject that R&B artist Rihanna has made a sensational hit called Word, 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 Word. All right? Okay. Before we jump into the examples that are here on the board, I just want to give a brief overview of what work really is. Work is done when a force that is applied to an object moves that object. The amount of work can be calculated by multiplying the force by the amount of movement, which is the distance, which gives you work equals force times distance. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. All right. Are y'all ready for some examples? Oh, I almost forgot. The units for work is joules. It's abbreviated with an uppercase J. Now class, time for some examples. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. You're ready. So I have a problem here on the board. An old student of mine by the name of Maya pushed the box with a force of 20 newtons, and that box went 10 meters. So, how much work did Maya do? Can anybody answer that question for me? Well, we'll multiply 20 by 10, so that's gonna give us 200, um, 200 joules. 200 joules? Yes. Because joules is the units for work, right? Yes, correct. Can you explain this formula for me first, before you just jump ahead, jump the gun? The formula is work equals force times distance. Yeah, and so we just, you heard the girl, force times distance gives us that 200. Okay. For question number two, we're gonna, uh, this one's gonna grow a little hair on your chest. Avery pushes a box up a frictionless incline. How much work was done if the box weighed 20 kilograms and the incline was 100 meters in height. Can anybody assist me with this question? No? Hmm, that's what I like to hear. Professor Johnson is tired of doing this all by himself. Caitlin, I would like you to label the forces, please. Okay. Can you do that? Magnificent. Great, great job. Great job, Caitlin. This is exactly what I wanted her to do. And now, Continue. Now, Maya, go ahead and calculate that word, 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 word. Okay, so it's going to be mg cosine. Sine. 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 Got to do better than that. Theta times d, right? Correct. Okay, so then our m is 20. Our g, that's 9.8. Okay, good job so far. Fine. Our angle is 40. And then our distance is Here. 100. 100. Okay. Um, does anybody have a calculator? Anybody have a calculator? Oh, since nobody wants to have a calculator out and come prepared for class. Luckily, the book calculator tells us that the answer is 12,600 uh, joules. There you go. Great job. Because if you do not put that on there, I'm counting it wrong. Thank you. Class, thank you for your participation. We will meet Thursday at the same time. This concludes our lesson of word, 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 word. So therefore, I will post your homework later, and it is due on Sunday. Have a nice
nice day, class. Good